In the world of identity and access management, all of this authentication and authorization that we've been discussing, it's all about providing access to or denying access to specific API calls that you might want to run in your AWS account. So to help understand this, let's go through a couple of quick pieces of terminology from start to finish to make a request. So if you're a user or an application, if this is a programmatic call and you wanna interact with the API, the first thing that AWS is going to figure out is what are you to them? What sort of principle do you represent? A principle identifies someone who can invoke an identity, okay, some sort of authentication option. And typically the principles are going to be invoking some sort of uh, identity entity and that could either be the root user, some other user, or a role. So important to note here that who you are and the identity that you want to assume are kind of separate things here. And it's important, especially when you get into things like federated identities. Now, once we have this information along with it, we also provide useful things about the call that we are making, which of course is gonna include some actions that we wanna perform. It's going to have resources, that we should perform that action on, such as creating a new bucket or adding objects to a bucket or uh, adding details to a virtual private cloud. And then the final piece on here is keeping in mind that we have to then consider the policies that are gonna be a part of affecting this call itself. Collectively, AWS refers to all of this right here uh, as the request context. Uh, and it contains additional information beyond this as well, such as the time of day that this was made to, the endpoint that received the request, the uh, region that was used as a part of it. And so collectively, AWS is gonna look at the principal who makes the call, the entity or the identity that they're assuming as a part of it, the action, the resource, the policies, and the entire request context to figure out the yes or no part of the API call. In future one minute identity and access management lessons, we'll be talking a lot more about what we can do with the contents of the request context itself and how it helps us ensure permissions within AWS. See you next time.